quick um, introduction to using PHP. So it's very important that you understand how PHP works. Now, PHP is a preprocessor, so it works on the server and it does things before the pages get delivered back to the client side. So what I'd hope we understand by the end of this is what the preprocessor does, where PHP script is executed, when the PHP script is executed, and also, I think this will be in a different video, how the form data, if we send something, we're using a submit button, how that data re is received by a PHP script. Remember, it's a script. So just the difference between JavaScript and PHP, as we know it so far, Okay, so JavaScript can manipulate existing HTML code. So, and that's the one thing to remember. It's got, it's already got existing code and it's on the client side. Okay, JavaScript is on the client side. It doesn't include any PHP elements. Okay, so when it gets to the client, all the PHP elements will be removed and it's just left with HTML and JavaScript uh, in there. PHP modifies the HTML code on the server side okay make sure you understand that that it's on the server before it's delivered back to the client and this code can include JavaScript so you can even use PHP to modify the HTML and add JavaScript elements into it okay so what do we mean by pre-processing so pre-processing means that the web page is processed on the server before it's delivered back to the client okay so this word here server side is important remember we've got two sides to this uh, there's the client side just on where we are with our machine and then we've got some stuff going on on the server side so here's a server file this is a file here this one that's held on the server and you can see there are elements of PHP in there so we've got question mark PHP so we don't use script um, we use uh, open brackets question mark PHP and then we close that with a question mark PHP uh, question mark bracket and anything inside there is now PHP code so that will be processed before the page is sent back so you sh you should be able to see that we've got um, we've got some variables here so we P PHP we always use dollar as prefix for variables dollar text one dollar text two and they are strings they've just been set as normal equals semicolons on the end of each line you can see semicolon semicolon and so on echo is the right line statement okay so echo will put something onto the page so basically what the PHP uh, server file does is it runs through this PHP script and then it sends back a file and look this is the file that it sends back so the echo says echo right onto the page the document h2 concatenated with text 1 and, and then with h2 at the end of it now if you look here you can see that there's the h2 there's the close h2 that's the value of txt1 learn php and then we got a similar thing underneath that as well so we've got study we've got a p we've got a closing p and then we've got the study php w3schools.com so it's there okay so that's what it's returning look this concatenation here so what happens then is that gets sent back to the client and then um, that gets processed let's just have a look at that file so here's that file in um, in notepad now if I try and run this in notepad then something strange will happen so if I run it up in notepad here then from notepad plus plus this is what will happen okay so I'm running off C program files it's in my uh, folder but I'm not running it through a server this is just running it from the file this means it's on the client side okay I'm in Firefox here so you can see it says file now if I run it through the server it gets pre-processed so here I've got my server look here at the top 127.0.1 and then forward slash it's in the PHP folder these are my PHP files 
this is my test one so now if I click on that it actually processes it and sends it back to me and if I view the source on this you will see there's no there's no PHP in there it's been pre-processed and it's been sent back to me okay so what we mean by pre-processing is that okay so this is my file that's held on the server and when I call it from my client okay call it from my client I've got to call it using the server there's the IP address of the server and then then I've got the path to that file so it's in 127.0.1 PHP test.php and then it pre-processes it if you just try and open it from the hard drive in in this case because we're, we're running the server on the same computer you won't get anything it won't pre-process it it cannot deal with it okay so that's what you need to remember about pre-processing